Ladies and gentlemen, it's Reeves and Mortimer. We're the kind of guys who look you in the eyes and sniff you. Ah. We're the kind of guys who leap from behind and lift you. We're not the kind of guys to take you by surprise or push blackberries into your eyes. No, no, we're the kind of guys who look you in the eyes and sniff you. We're the kind of man who every now and then will touch you. We're the kind of men don't wish to offend as we buff ya. <laughs> We're not the kind of guys to stick a rocket up your ass or send you on a journey to the stars. No. We're the kind of guys who look you in the eye. We're the kind of guys who look you in the eye. Sniff ya, sniff ya, sniff ya. Sniff ya, sniff ya, sniff ya. Motherfucking beans coming everywhere. Everywhere that year. Motherfuck peas. <laughs> right, tonight. Bob. Uh, what? I've got a lovely surprise for you tonight. What is it? I've got a little present for you. Oh, kind. Here it is. <coughs> Not so little. What do you think of that, eh? <laughs> Just for you. It's nice, isn't it? Realise Bob Mortimer. And uh would you sign that for me? It's right. just it's just the, the receipt for it, something like that. Okay. <laughs> well done. What's going on here, Vic? What's happened to Purple last time? No, I don't know what that is. I thought it was a receipt. On my death, I agree to give Mr Reeves all my worldly goods and my sausages. <laughs> is that what it says? I didn't realise. Who died playing Russian... Play... What's Russian roulette? Have you ever played it? No, what is it? Would you like to play it? <laughs> is it a game of chance? What? It is a bit of a game of chance. What you do is you take a gun like this. It's a weapon. Yeah, oh, I realise that. <laughs> you spin it round and whoever it points at gets to shoot the other one. Yeah. Right? Do yeah. you want to go? Do you fancy a go at it? Well, I'll give do it a go, Do you fancy a yeah. chance? Go on, I'll yeah? have a go. All right, yeah. then. Here we go. I'll, I'll spin. I know you will. I'm not scared. I'll spin. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pointing at me. But <laughs> that was a bit odd, that all that shit. But I can only call shenanigans. I hadn't touched it. It just spanned on. Ooh, uh, it's pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> that means I get to shoot you. All oh, right. Unless, of course, you give us your sausages. <laughs> You're not going to shoot me. It's just a game, isn't it? I'll shoot you, all right. <laughs> <laughs> don't, Vic, don't do, shoot. Don't think I won't. <laughs> Vic, I haven't got any sausages anyway. You've got sausages, all right. Hand them over now or I'll shoot you. Vic, I don't eat sausages. I can hear them sizzling through the partition wall at night. <laughs> I can see you through your window with your little apron on. <laughs> Cooking your sausages. I'm not cooking sausages. I don't care. Careful with that. Careful with that. Oh, you've had sausages in your house. I haven't. I don't like sausages. I've had a private detective. He's been down the butchers and recorded you. I've had it bugged. I've got it on my tape recorder. Where's my tape recorder? I don't eat sausages. I've got a tape. Here it is. Listen. Oh, are Mr. Mortimer? Another sausage party, is it? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Ten pound mixed sausages, please. Right. And is Mr. Reeves invited? No way. Great. <laughs> Got rid of that was it. It isn't what you think, Vic. I don't have sausages. You hand them over now. I want to... Oh, oh, I swear, I'm going to blow your brains. <laughs> Do you think? Calm down. I don't have sausages. No sausage man. Me. Well, if you haven't got them, we're going to shoot myself. I've got nothing left to live Vic, for. Vic, you haven't got any sausages, Vic. Right. I don't want you to die. Paul Barron, the 39-year-old owner of Barron's nightclub, has been away in London, where he was hoping to persuade a major celebrity to headline an evening at the club. 
it is an important day for Bowen's nightclub, for we have received mention in Disco International as fourth best club in Hull. That is sensational news for me personally. In last month's issue, we did not even merit a mention. So you can imagine. Tony! Wow! Paul, what have you done to your heart? It's great. Tonight it's done in London. It's the new style. Do you like it? Like it? I love it. Great. It is truly amazing. No, 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 but Paul, you went to London for a reason. Yes. Did you secure services of top line performer for our cowboy evening? Tony, 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 Tony. What do you think? No. Cassidy! <laughs> I have in my hand a contract. Who is it for, Paul? Securing the services for one night only. Les Dennis. <laughs> who the hell is he? Les Dennis! I don't know who he is, Paul. You know, I'll give you a clue. Eh, oh. <laughs> you are Terry Tubbies. No, it's not a Terry Tubbies. <laughs> Here's another clue. Our survey said. Our survey said. A fa fortune of family! Family fortune! Les Dennis for fortune of family! It's hard to believe, isn't it? This is sensational news for Paul Bowen's nightclub! Fantastic. We shall sell tickets through the nose! Ah, uh, well, yes. <laughs> we have noticed poison around the premises. It is therefore a very good reason. The reason is we have an infestation around the walls, around the dance floor, behind the stage. You hear scratch, scratch, scratch and the rumble of feet, as if they are going shopping and they're in a rush. Everywhere we look, we find evidence of this thing, but as yet we have not caught it. Kinky John has also noticed something strange. There are things in the walls. I hear them all day, things in the walls. Where were you born, Kinky John? Yes, I was born in Hell's Kitchen, in New York City, in 1953. I had to leave America for very private reasons. These I do not wish to go into at this present time. Are you a family man? I have many children, most of them I do not know where they are, because I am a lover man. We have drawn a picture of what me and Paul believe this thing to be. And with a certain degree of certainty, we believe it will look like this. <laughs> What would be your ideal night here at the club? Because I am of what I am, I like to put on big, brushy, showbiz type nights. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with them um, big names uh, Dean Martin, Scooby Doo. I hear them again. Come listen. They're on the move. This is where the nest is. We believe it is able to think on account of the size of its brain. And in this way, it is avoiding all efforts to catch it. But whilst this beast is loose, Bowen's nightclub, it lived in the cloud of the stone elephant. <laughs> it may just be rats. Meanwhile, Carl breaks the exciting news to the front of house team. All right, Julie. Yeah, man. All right, Chris. Yeah? Nice to see you both. And you may have heard that Mr. Paul Barron has secured the services of Les Dennis. You're joking. No, it's true, Les Dennis. It's a very good joke. No, it's not a joke. It's, it's an expression, Julie. Yeah, I yeah, know. Do you like Les Dennis? Is he your favourite? Is he your favourite? Is yeah. He? Well, you like Family Fortunes. Don't know. I love it, yeah. But do you like him or not? <laughs> Don't know. Want to sing it? You said you liked it. I know, I love it. All right, well, you should go on it then. Right, I will. Well, if you have to apply in that. I know, I will. Well, you're going to. Yeah. Go on then. Right, I will. All right, I'll tell you what, let's have a go at it now, see if you're any good. Do you right. want to play, Julie? Right, test me, go on. All right. I asked 100 people yeah. to name something you eat that's white. I know you did. Well, what? Oh, <laughs> it's like, yeah, semolina, right? That's how it works. It's a good answer, Julie, good answer. Wasn't the top answer, though, not the top answer. Right. You go on, answer, Chris. Yeah. Go on then. Egg white? I know. Well, why did you say it then? I never. You did say it, said egg white. <laughs> so, here's a proper answer. 100, take 100 people, some of the eight, that's white. <laughs> wool? <laughs> Cotton wool. Cotton wool. Ah, uh, Pack, it's not worth it, Chris. 
cotton will he donate? Well, now... Oh, no! Oh, well, why did you say, Chris? Now, you've probably noticed Rupert isn't here tonight, right? Yeah. He's off sick. <laughs> well, well, no, Chris. So look after Mr Les Dennis tonight, well... Oh, no, no can't, can't, can't I look after Mr Dennis? I think he's gorgeous. Oh, no! <laughs> well, you may don't know. It's a job for Chris to have a bodyguard thing, you know. Car. You'll be on busy on the floor anyway. I'm sure you'll get to see him anyway. <laughs> you met him, yeah? You might not... I, I just, like no, him when I, you meet him. <laughs> Calm down. All right, Chris. Yeah? How dare you are, Paul? Julie, say you want a word with me. <coughs> yes, Tony, take a pill. OK, I just had one. But... <laughs> what is it, Tony, my brother? Julie, I've been thinking, and I think that we should give Kinky John the night off as compare and let Les Dennis do the whole lot. Not yours, Kinky John. He would be very upset, Paul. Johnny, Johnny, this is business. OK, Paul, but I do not envy you having to give this news to Kinky John. Well, Johnny, do you mind if you did it? No, you must do this. No, Johnny, could you tell Kinky John, because I've just got to go and check the Doritos, make sure they're not, uh, damp. You can leave Doritos and tell Kinky John yourself. No, Johnny, you do it. I'm too no, busy. Paul Bowen, you... He have got no balls, Paul Bowen. It's just typical. Kinky John will take it out on me, and I have nothing to do with this decision. Do you see his haircut? He look a white dickhead. Chris, <laughs> stab him. Stab him. Stab him. Stab him. Stab him. Keep falling out. It's because you're not doing it. I pull him up like the, like the hoops. I was pulling him in. No, it's upright. I'll show you one like that. I know. They keep falling out. I'll do it properly. I won't fall out. Stop it. Don't bother. Put it in. Don't bother. Meanwhile, Paul and Tony have noticed mysterious noises coming from the kitchen. I don't know what me. Come on, Kate. Let's go. Let's go. Intruder in kitchen! Conflict must ensue! Where Best of bliss! Where is it? He got away! He wants for fucking like a little it. sprite! I can stab it! In here somewhere! I'm seeing Paul! Where is it? <laughs> Push him out! This intruder is at stop catering supplies! Oh, Jesus, they're everywhere! <laughs> oh, my good God. What is that? Go on, get out! Oh, yeah, booger! Yeah. Oh, bollocks! Put a light on Paul. Maybe we can see him then. What are you doing, Paul? Dancing now, my way. Intruder on premises. Not dancing, so I just dance too sharp. Oh, I can't reach it. He got away. That is a shame, because knife's so sharp. I know, but he got to the He goes to where then? I didn't get him. Promise me this, Paul. Before the night is over, you will alert the police. Of course I'll do that for you, Tony. Okay. As a brother to a brother, I can certainly fulfil that promise before the night is out. I'm just so sorry that I'll let him escape. It's a shame about knife. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Let's welcome to Balan's Night Spot. Nice place, yeah. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. Have you ever been here before? I don't um, recognise your face. Um, well, I don't think... Was it once called Capers? Do you know, I don't think it was. No? Was. Did you ever have to tell, anyway? Yeah, yeah, I've got a driver. Right, well, you'll be look, you'd be looked after, eh? Okay. You'll have a lovely time. Did you see The Abyss on TV last night? No, I was doing a gig, mate. It was amazing. <laughs> it's good film, yeah, I've seen it. How will Kinky John react to being replaced by Les Dennis? Find out next week on the club.
Also, you know, it's not the little one. Trade it through. Got it. It's frustrating, isn't it? Shall we get back then? Better add on my shoes. Now that I am gone, who will take my precious monkeys to be baptised? Welcome to Cutlery Hut. We've got mints from Mexico. We've got chilies from Chile. We like our chilies from Mexico, don't we? We like a bit of that, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? We like a bit of that. My dingling. My dingling. No, don't we? Oh, if you could smell this at home. Oh, look, we all like smelling our homes, don't we? Don't we? We all like smelling our homes, don't we? Don't we? Oh, it's spicy. It's Bob, 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 shut up. What? What are you doing? I'm doing a cookery show, a cookery hot. We're not a bit of cookery hot, don't we? We don't all. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're just shouting, aren't you? You're just That's shouting. That's on the TV. She's alive and up a bit of a shouting. Don't we? That's how we like to do it. We do, don't we, mate? We do like to do it You're that way. We're just shouting and we skipping like, around. I'm lifting the ladle. Hi, hi. I'm all right, all right. All right. So shut, shut. Right. No, we're not doing it like That's that. That's the way people we're, like it. All right, then, all right, we're doing it the old fashioned way. No, well, people won't like it. They like a bit of shouting and screaming. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They do, don't Shut they? up! We do, don't Shut we? it! We do, Shut don't Shut it! We? Look at my eyes roll! <laughs> don't, don't we? We do, don't. We're doing it the old fashioned way. Thank you. Go on, then. Hello. <laughs> Tonight we're making cauliflower cheese. <laughs> and here's a list of the ingredients. <sighs> Oh, it's boring for you, is it? Yeah, well, you did lose me attention. Eh? So, yeah. You know, Why? If there was a bit of shout, we're going with it like that, don't we? Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, you want it livened up then, do you? Well, it would help. You want yeah. it livened up, do you? It's a cookery right. program, isn't it? Here's a cauliflower. Oh. <laughs> get back out of here. Where are you? Oh, I'll get it in. <laughs> oh, Is that any good? <laughs> eh? Get in there. <laughs> get it. <laughs>
5.35am and we've just been thrown out of our lodgings after <laughs> Derek rather over-exuberantly vocalised his demands throughout the night. But, as I said, it's 5.35 and we did quite well, didn't we, Derek? That's not bad, is it, really? It's not a bad score, really, is it? <laughs> But uh, we're up now and there's no reason why we shouldn't have a lot of fun. We've got our trolley full of snouts and cakes and I'm already very, very confident. Tom, is it gyro day? Sadly, Derek, no, it's not gyro day, but we can have a lot of fun. I couldn't help noticing earlier on, uh, Derek, as I was passing my morning wine behind those shops over there, that there's a Tom. lot... Did you pass any morning toffee? No, I didn't, but I couldn't help but notice there was a skip over there which... Hopefully, it could be full of fun items. Who knows? Let's have a look then, Tom. Come on, then. It's very cold, isn't it? <laughs> well, we've been here about 40 minutes now, and we've already found a lot of fun items. It's been absolutely crazy. Uh, Derek's over there, and he's found a cutout of Brian Adams, Everything which he's spent some time now dancing with. <laughs> You look good. You? OK, Derek, I think that's wearing a bit thin now. We'll just stop that, shall we? Thank you. What have you found, Tom? Well, Derek, I've been stood in this skip and over the last hour I've been observing that the water level uh, in the bottom of the skip hasn't dropped, so I think it's safe to <laughs> assume that we're actually stood in a watertight skip, which is a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun, Tom. It is. But, Derek, the fun doesn't stop there because now we're going to prize up some cobbles. <laughs> well, there's a beauty, Derek. Thank you, John. The reason this is so much fun is because we're recreating the archaeological TV show Town Team. Now, I'm Tony Robinson, and you're the long-haired fella from Cornwall, right? I want to be Tony Robinson. Well, you can't, because... Sadly, I am, Derek, so you're the long hair fella from Cornwall, right? Now then, what I'd like you to do, uh, Derek, or rather, long hair fella from Cornwall, is build two pillars out of these cobbles, please, over there. Thank you very much. Who are, Tom? Right. Well, Derek, I think we've extracted the maximum amount of fun we could possibly do from the rear of the shops. But by my calculations on my fun watch, in five minutes' time, the sweeping man will be passing by the front of I the I don't shops. want to miss that, Tom. Of course you don't. No one would, Derek. So, shall we go and get a good position? Lovely. I love that. So, who is underneath the Rando Kill box this week? Who is it? You're ready, David? Yeah. It's Paul McKenna! It's Paul McKenna! First of all, Paul, thank you very much for coming. Get a hypnotizer! He did hypnotize her. Now, first of all, Paul, and ladies and gentlemen of the audience, we like to get you warmed up with a little explosion. That's right, so we'll start off the show with Big Bang. Here we go. There we go. This will yeah. laugh me all up nicely. Get you right in the mood for hidden tires and bomb again. What? <laughs> <laughs> You are stood in front of your fireplace giving an important speech to your family. Do la di da 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 da. And I will hypnotise you if you don't answer these questions. Yeah. Suddenly, suddenly the wind blows down the chimney and blows your nightshirt over your head, revealing your cobblers. <laughs> Do you carry on regardless or push your wife up the chimney with a broom to stem the wind? Oh, I'd push her up there. Yes, I like And don't blame you, Mr McKenna! <laughs> Paul, always in 
interested me when I've seen you on TV with your hypnotism. Could you tell me, Paul, are peanuts soluble? No. No. No, right. <laughs> Mr. McKenna. <laughs> the more OT, the biscuit, the better for cheese. Discuss. <laughs> What was the question again? Um, I have actually failed to ask a question. It was a statement. Oh, no. <laughs> now, Mr. McKenna, <laughs> have you ever defrosted a trout to make it nice and ready to receive its almonds? <laughs> no. No. All oh, right. Hmm? Right, Paul. Paul. At what distance does a picture of a nude lady become too blurry to enjoy? <laughs> Off feet. I'm not partial. <laughs> I'd say about 12 feet. 12, 12 feet? 12 feet. <laughs> Mr. McKenna, the other day I bought a giant box of Omo to wash my mum's dungarees with, but found out at the cash till I did not have enough money to pay for it. Have you ever not had enough money to pay for a big Omo? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take that as I don't know. <laughs> right, right, that's all done, that's all done, that's all done then. Right. Lovely. 